I'm the family ghetto news supporter, Mary Dance for 20 Mary and me. Ooh, I'm back on the block. 63rd. I'm right off of 63rd and uh Kimbark. I found my uh my little engine that could cross the street on the corner right there in front of that gate. Where that sign is on that tree. The leaning on the gate. I dropped it yesterday. I found it today. You know, the Staples Singers got a song called Uncloudy Day. Ain't a cloud on the horizon. And this is Halloween. Imagine that. You understand what I'm saying? Supposedly. October 31st, 2020. That's what they say. Either way, it don't make a difference. There's a lot of games being played in my city. Oh, they go all bird. Look. See? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, a lot of games being played. I keep seeing this here. I might as well take a picture of it. See, that say Vans right there, 84. See? Yeah, I understand what I'm saying. I don't know why they got that there. Because uh, I remember I was working for a cable back in the day, me and a couple of girls that looked kind of aggressive. You understand what I'm saying? You know, kind of manly but girls for real and uh what the fuck oh for my sunglasses okay i keep dropping them in the motherfucking goddamn paint keep peeling off of them but anyway yeah we used to work for cable for a few minutes i worked for about a month that shit was a lot of work and shit and uh you know I went to Western and I got a uh, van. It was big as fuck, right? <laughs> but it really wasn't my style and shit. And, uh, you know, I was allowed to take it back. You know, they had, you know, gave it to me for $500. And back then, you could take it back. You understand what I'm saying? Nowadays, you can't. Tenant windows. Every time I see tenant windows, you know, I, I, I think about when I was driving. And now I'm no longer driving. They got the nerve. Don't eat these cookies, man. You understand what I'm saying? I don't, you know. You don't just, you know, real talk. Um, it's Halloween, so you got to be careful. I'm not saying, you know, they'll do anything. I'm just saying, you know. You know, we better than that. You understand what I'm saying? If a person ain't giving it to you personally. Like when I used to work for Clark Mall. You know, I when to spend good money on candy, not that cheap shit. You understand what I'm saying? And gave the you know children personally candy or whatever. You know, not only that, they was familiar with me. So you have to really, if you're gonna trick or treat, trick or treat with somebody you know, if you and you seen and you trust and things of that nature. Otherwise, you know, just go to the store and buy your own or whatever, and get a receipt. That way, you'll know if something happened, where it came from. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I was, uh, I had bought a van, right, for $500, and I took it back, and they allowed me to take it back, you know, because it really wasn't my style, you understand what I'm saying, it's just something I did or whatever, and, uh, of course, somebody came out of some of I'm coming in, they like showing off their little cars and shit, you understand what I'm saying, it's funny how people railroad you and take your stuff, and then try to make you feel like shit because you don't have it. It's like, as long as you owe me, I'll never be broke. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen and stuff. I'm almost done taking this garbage out. That's all it is, a bunch of shit just to be doing. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the Jacksons, you know, the movie when uh, the, the American Dream and, you know, the father had Jermaine moving bricks from one side of the uh of the uh, yard to the next to get them strong or whatever yeah yeah i don't know if my so-called best friend um dwayne lewis you know I, I would like to know who stays 657 i think it's like southwest union union u-n-i-o-n union you understand what I'm saying? Not too far from the Red Line train station and right before Halston. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, because, you know, they needed another house and stuff, you know. And if the game is being ran on me, of course, they needed me to, you know, fulfill their American dream, I guess. You know, games people play at other people's expenses. They ain't gonna put me in this fucking dump. Imagine that. It looks good on the outside, but the inside ain't nothing but a trizap. Yeah, I want my shit. Yeah, see, if it was mine, this this whole see that um that statue right there. If you go to um, Gary, Indiana, to Michael Jackson, their house, they got that same statue. You understand what I'm saying? It was in the backyard of the um, Gary, Indiana house. And you know they know the game better than anybody. I don't play games though. You understand what I'm saying? Unless I can win. Yeah. So, you know, if I'm the anchor, and that's what this say, anchor, but it's black and white. When I'm a color person, that means somebody black and white and took over. The tenant windows, see, my tent was about that fucking light. And I could see through that motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I got rail for. Railroaded for May 31st, 2008. Now, I know this is my motherfucking land because the sign was here that said Mary Shiver, but it could very well mean Shiver, S-H-I-V-E-R, because that's how it was spelled. And it was right here, and I did a video, and of course, you know, every time I'm winning, you know, they start taking shit down or whatever and stuff. And I know this is my land. I know it is. I know it is, but they think I'm slow. Yeah, the reason why I know it's mine is because you know, May 31st, 2008, when I was in, uh, when I got railroaded, you know, they took me to one police station and then they took me to uh, Belmont and Western. And, you know, they ain't giving me a blank and I stayed in there for three days before they took me to the county jail or whatever. Now, I could have left and, you know, got out or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, been doing the same old, same old, but, you know, I put my faith in a higher power because I knew that's all I had left, you understand what I'm saying, real talk, and because I did the right thing, I've been catching hell, now, they say no dogs allowed, right, but there's a dog in this building on my floor, you understand what I'm saying, which is, I'm on, on the, I'm on three, you understand what I'm saying, and it used to be cats up in here. You understand what I'm saying? But now they got dogs. But you see what it say, no dogs allowed. Now they had that for a reason, because that's a clue. You understand what I'm saying? It's a clue. Yeah, so they, um, they've been trying to take the evidence down. You see that? You understand what I'm saying? And if they kill me, all this shit'll come down and shit, just like that sign that used to be there and stuff, because that was evidence. Yeah, they didn't give me a blanket. You know, when I was when I was in there, uh, Belmont and Western, they didn't give me a blanket. And you know, I was cold like a motherfucker. But if you ask the girls that was in there with me, they know. I didn't say not one word for real. So all that snitching and shit. And they was like, the, the white police was like, you don't want your jewelry? You don't want your car? I was like, nah, you can have it and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Not have, but you know, they was gonna steal it any damn way. Cause I was gonna continue doing what I'm doing like right now. And that's telling my truth. Now this say mom right here, mom fuller. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it say. But my name Davis. It's right here. This ain't Jamila Davis. But my name is, you know, Mary Lee Davis. These are little clues they leave behind. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, I know people, I had to have been here as a baby and got railroaded. And, you know, whoever took care of me because my mom couldn't or didn't or whatever the case, they railroaded her and she just probably went crazy or whatever and shit like they want me to do. 
but I am the originator of rap. You see this? This a ponytail right there. You understand what I'm saying? That's like a clue right there. You understand what I'm saying? They go to music right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, you know, I never had fun when I was a little kid. Never. When I was a child, never had fun. I've always been railroaded. Shit it on and, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. I know this is my land. I know it is. And I want my shit built from the ground up because I know Dwayne Lewis and them. Look, somebody been drinking up in here. Look at that. See? See the pink? Because I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Oh, yeah. So, you know, they railroading the girls and stuff. But, yeah. They took that sign down because that was evidence. Mm -hmm. And that's a Burlington Coat Factory um, plastic bag that's on the lawn. I don't know why that would be on there. But, uh, you know, Thriller, Michael Jackson did, and this is Halloween. So, have to be careful. There go my rocket right there. About to take off, baby. Little toe. Imagine a child like myself never having any fun. And I was always wondering why everywhere I go, trouble follows me. Because I'm I'm the heir to a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's two bags in there. Two two plastic bags, Burlington Kofax. I don't know what's going on, but it's a it's some demonic shit. It's demonic. So let me chill and have a little fun right now. Yep. <clears throat> Games people play. See, it's the memories that people remember. And even if, you know, my mother did pass away, just think about all her so-called friends and her boyfriends and, you know, family members. You know, people go crazy over money. And I'm the business savvy person in the so-called family, at least in my book, you know, my story. Yeah, this was uh, really fucked up at first. They cleaned it up, so it must be something about to happen. I don't know exactly, but they need to build my shit right here for real. Because I'm a Chicagoan forever. I don't give a fuck if I am moving out of there. If I sleep right here, nigga, and you fuck with me, real fucking talk, that's your motherfucking ass. Because this my land. And somebody, you know, because I'm the originator of rap, trying to um, buy up all the land with my money. Imagine that. Leave me homeless and looking stupid. But you know, the devil is a lie, for real, for real. Yep, cause the light up there is 40-40. Uh-huh. That's that Jay-Z shit, the 40-40 club, right? That's what the lights say up there, 40-40. I'm still trying to figure out how he became a fucking billionaire. And how did he beat Nas? And Nas won the motherfucking goddamn, you know, the rap battle. And I remember being in the goddamn uh, Best Buy on 87, right across from the Dan Ryan. It's now a beauty supply store. It used to be a, a Toys R Us, and then it became a, 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 a Best Buy. Then it became, you know, you know, a beauty supply store. So, yeah, I was looking at some. I was looking at uh, some Jay Z, and the, and and the police pulled up on me in the in Best Buy. I said, if Nas won, how the fuck did Jay-Z become the king? You know what I'm saying? You know, for real, how did he win and shit? How come Nas ain't got the billion dollars? Cause motherfuckers still kill, destroy, and will sell they ass to get your spot. That'll be my spot. Anything happen to me? Oh, I got plenty of money on every motherfucker that robbed me. And with that, she got a news report of Mary Dash Queen Mary Lee. Have a good day. Enjoy the weather and don't eat too much junk food and candy and things of that nature. Let me go in this motherfucker and try not to get killed. Peace.